If you're here, you're probably wondering, what if I started to learn to be socially mature later than everyone else? Personally, I didn't really break out of my shell until the beginning of college. So maybe that's around 18 or 19. So I have a little bit of experience in that. So I'm going to try to answer this big question. Personally, I feel like this is the reason why so many people are getting stuck and feeling discouraged repeatedly when they try to advance. But before I get into it, if you're looking to become more socially mature, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So in order to answer this question, we have to first look at the timeline of how someone socially matures. So this is the typical timeline of someone's social development. Initially, the growth is really quick because when you're a baby, there's so much to learn. But by the time that you reach adulthood, this is when things start to really slow down because your environment is really becoming more stable. And when your environment is stable, then everything becomes normalized. However, let's say if you started socially mature 20 years later than everyone else. If you simply move the curve, you can see that you can roughly get maybe about 70% of the progress in about half the time. And of course, if you really focus and condense your learning process, it might go much faster. However, for the people that are learning later on in life, this is what it actually looks like for a lot of people. You can see that in the later part of this graph, there are small ups and downs but it doesn't move like a typical curve. And why is this happening? This is because of peer pressure, regret, anxiety, comparison. Instead of having a typical growth, they compare themselves with other people every time they try and do something, which causes them to fall back down because they keep on thinking how far ahead everyone else is. And if all you can think about is the fact that you can never catch up to other people's social skills and how far ahead everyone is, it is very disappointing and discouraging. However, if you look at the graph I'm showing you in terms of the social maturity later on in life, you can see that people plateau. And this is one of the reasons why I think growing in social maturity to match other people is very possible. And the biggest problem is not being so hard on yourself. And on top of that, if you go through a class, a course, a book, and really focus on learning, you can catch up really quickly. Now I want to go through some of the common pressures that are pushing us down when we're trying to mature in the process. What if I'm treated younger than everyone else? This is a really common pressure because every time you go out and you talk to someone, you're reminded of the fact that you don't have that skill as everyone else, and they treat you differently. But don't let people discourage you, and you have more control over this than you think. And if you want to learn to be more confident, you can actually start right now. And the first skill that you'll learn is developing a thicker skin. When this situation comes up, you should have a little voice inside of you that's kind of belittling who you are. And what you want to actively do is talk back against that voice. Whenever that voice inside of you is telling you you're not good enough or you're acting weird, talk back to it and say it's not a big deal. And this is not something you do once, it's almost like a back and forth conflict between you and that voice. And the competing voices inside of you, whichever voices wins, is how you'll feel. When you can overpower the voice that's inside of you, that's when you're able to manage your emotions better and be more confident. Now what if you feel discouraged from being left behind? Most of the time people feel discouraged because they don't see themselves progressing or they forget that they have actually improved. So the best way to not feel discouraged is to see your own progress. That's why for everything that you do, if you have a small win, write it down, put it on a poster, put it somewhere you can see for you to encourage yourself how far you have come. You want to set yourself up so that you are actively encouraged as a person so that you are not regressing. And now what if you feel like you tried everything and still nothing is working? One of the big reasons why I feel like this problem is occurring is because of combinations. When you're learning to be more socially mature, there are numerous amount of factors that comes together for you to show who you are as a person. And if you only have one of those traits, it might not work as well. For example, let's say if you're trying to introduce yourself, you need to learn how to do eye contact, emotional intelligence, what are the safe topics, and the basic conversational framework. You need all those skill sets to work together in order for that introduction to work. And I'm not saying a lot of these different things to discourage you in terms of there's so much things to learn, but I am saying that it is doable and the biggest problem here is not being so hard on yourself. 
So now that you have heard my thoughts, let me know if you agree or disagree that you can actually learn and be socially mature later on in life. And if you feel like you have gotten some value out of this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time.